John Harbaugh on going for it on fourth down and goal. He said it gave us the best chance to win the game. It gave us the best chance to win the game because seven, the worst that happens is if they go down the field and score, and I think we'll get them stopped. But if they go down the field and score a touchdown, the worst thing that can happen is that you're in overtime. But you kick a field goal there, now it's not a three-down game anymore. It's a four-down game. You're, you're putting them out there. You're putting your defense at a disadvantage because they've got four downs to convert all the way down the field and a chance to, again, score seven, and then you, you lose the game on a touchdown. So and then the worst thing, the other thing, you think you're going to get the ball at the two-yard line. So I'm very confident in our defense. Defense's ability to stop them down there with the ball on the two-yard line. So we got them backed up. If we don't get it, it didn't turn out that way, unfortunately, and we lost the game. So hindsight, you could take the points. But – if you look at it analytically, I understand why we did it. Should we put this blame on John Harbaugh, his gustiness for this loss? Is that an overreaction or a reality? And um, once again, and if you want to kick us off. Um, yeah, I, you know, um, I think I know people are going to going to going to say it's reality, but I, I do think it's an overreaction just because if you look at Baltimore's defense, how they've been playing this season, um, I believe going into the game they had given up the they were giving up the most passing yards per game. The defense has not been playing up to what we know the the Baltimore Ravens defense to be that we've known to be for I want to say really you know, like two decades. <laughs> the Baltimore defense has been one of the better defenses in the league. So if you if you look at you know the fact that we were up by what was it like fourteen something like that they they were up and the defense just kept giving up points they lost a seventeen point lead same way they lost a, a twenty eight point lead against Miami you kind of got to go with the offense in that situation now granted you know whatever they didn't they didn't they didn't convert you know what I'm saying on fourth down but at the end of the day a field goal it would the game would have only been would have been tied up. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying, because the Bills wound up getting the field goal anyway. So the game would have just been tied. You know what I'm saying? You still had to stop them, you know, again to 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 win the game. So now nah, in that situation, I'm going, I'm gonna bet on the offense. Lamar Jackson going into that game, you know, it is is leader in, in the MVP race. You know, it's early MVPs, obviously, but he's the leader. He was already leading the league in, in touchdown. The offense has been hot, even with without them. Having even a, a, a legitimate number two wide receiver, like they really, their wide receivers are like number threes and on and on down. And even with that, he's still leading the, the league in touchdown passes. Uh, you know, Mark Andrews every year just gets better and better. So no, I'm I, in that situation. I'm I'm going with the offense. This is tough. Throughout the whole day, I was thinking in my mind. I was balancing back and forth. I can see your argument. So this is not one of those situations where. I'm going to automatically say, like, I disagree with it. I just don't. I understand it, but I just don't agree with it. If that makes sense. Like, I think sometimes there is a conception out here, a perception out here where if you don't agree with something, it's wrong. Yeah. Nah, I just don't agree with it, but I can understand the point. And I think that's how I feel here. Like, I don't agree with it, but I understand it. But I'm still going to call this a reality for me because, you know, I think. Although you made good points about the. Ravens defense being hella suspect. I mean, come on. This defense is twisted out here. Literally. I mean, the uh, the lifeless offense of the Patriots being able to torch them. Okay, Tua Tugavaloa had us coming out party. 300 yards, six touchdowns on this team. Okay, they, they're terrible, and I get it. And I get having the best player, you having the ball in your best player's hands. I get it. Like in basketball, I want Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, John Morant taking a shot. I get why you want Lamar Jackson to be the guy that you want to win the game. But I'm also looking at it from a counter perspective. What if, okay, because yeah, the Bills ended up kicking a field goal to win the game. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, the same thing would have happened if the Ravens kicked the field goal. So many things could transpire on a drive that could just change the outlook of a drive. You just never know. My thing is, is if you're John Harbaugh, you want to give your defense confidence. You want to show that, yeah, we still can make a play. Because what if they made a play? What if they got a tip and they got an interception? Now your defense has confidence where you can build off of that and try to turn this defense around and, and turn this season around where it's like, okay, now we are a more well-balanced team. I just think that, you know, because football is so team-aligned, and granted, most situations, I want my quarterback winning the game, especially if my defense is suspect. 
But also, either way, you still have to stop. I say reality because, you know, I, I just think that um, if you're John Harbaugh, you're losing games that way. You lost the games, you know, last year because you did that. You know, against the Steelers because you went for two. You could at least give yourself an overtime. Now, let's say that you kicked a field goal and they ended up kicking a field goal because they ended up kicking a field goal. You could have went to overtime, right? You just don't know. You could counter it so many ways. They ended up kicking a field goal. So let's say the game is tied. You're guaranteed overtime. Well, that's this thing, like, right? And I, and I agree with a, a lot of what you said, but the, but that's that's why. Because Now, you mentioned the, the Miami game, right? And in the Miami game, you know, when they had the chance to, to, to take the lead, they went down and only got a field goal. And when they only kicked the field goal, I said they're going to lose this game because Miami's going to come back and score a touchdown. So, you know, the hardball, you think about the past experiences, yeah. If it's not like we're down in this situation, you know what I'm saying? The game is tied. So if I kick a if I kick a field goal, yeah, that's cool. But if I if, if I can get these guys to score the touchdown, then that takes some of the pressure off of my defense and then if we can, you know, at least stop them and, and keep them from getting past, you know, getting out of field goal range no, then we can we can win this game. So and I I think for me, part of this question actually extends more than just the last play of the game or the you know that play that we're talking about, should I say? When you talk about gutsiness, I'm actually not only looking at that play, I'm looking at the entire game because they was up in this game. It was rainy conditions. It was an incentive to run the football, to um literally shrink the clock instead of passing the football. And given the Bills, who don't have a running game, even when they're not playing or they are playing from behind, they have no running game nevertheless. So I think part of the gussiness comes from you trying to pass and, and, and win the game instead of trying to um, run the football and milk the clock with the lead that you have in terrible rainy conditions. And that goes back to that play that we're talking about. The Bills still had to drive the length of the field in rainy conditions but the weather conditions was the same for them last 17 points that they just let them score too i know but you never you know what i'm saying like it's <laughs> it's, it's coming cool. down like you could say throughout the game the rainy conditions got a little bit more worse and that's one of the things when you talk about these analytics like i get like i said trying to win the game but this is a team with lying sport and one thing you want to do is not lose your locker room look what happened after the game you know with um my guy marcus peters like you don't want to divide the locker room and you have to trust those guys because it's going to come at a time where you might go forward again and you need your defense to bail you out of that yeah well they, they should they should step their games up and start playing better defense and that's what we agree here because right now this is not the strength of this team and this is exactly where matter of fact when i look at this raven team, it's just so opposite to me they lost Marquise Brown. I'm saying to myself, yeah, this offense is going to be all right, but it's not going to be as lethal. But the defense should be the strength of this team per usual, you know, especially with guys coming back. And now I just see the opposite. I see the offense actually being the surprise here out of the group and the defense being the disappointment. And when you're the Ravens, you want your strengths to remain your strengths. But you don't want your strengths to become your weaknesses. Yeah. Could you imagine if the Ravens were actually playing Baltimore defense defense with with as good as Lamar Jackson has been playing this season and and the guys who again there is no number one receiver there's no number two receiver there maybe if there a, a number three receiver there how good he still has that offense clicking this year if they if, if the defense was doing what they're supposed to do the Ravens would be undefeated right now we'll have to see what happens when it comes to the Ravens and most importantly are they going to continue to go for it on fourth downs or are they going to get their defense to actually step up to the plate ladies and gentlemen what are we doing here like and subscribe to the channel to receive these updates of new uploaded content for myself real lil zay good vibes and zach attack we'll be back make sure you like and subscribe and feel the vibe always peace